September 19th, St. Emily de Roda. St. Emily was a religious nun and founder of the Sisters of the Holy Family. She was a mystic and also known as the Apostle of Charity as she opened at least 38 charities and charitable organizations. It was not known during her lifetime that she was also a mystic. Her revelations are included in a diary which was found after her death. Emily was born in the year 1787 at Rodet, France. As a young child, she had shown a great love for God and for the poor, but during her teenage years she changed and these things held little meaning for her. At the age of 16, however, she had an experience of God's love that was to change her life forever. She wrote, I was 16 years of age when I learned to know our Lord. This experience overwhelmed me, and I wanted God and only God. With her faith once more alive in her heart, she began to search for ways to serve God and to fulfill His plan for her life with a whole new energy and passion. She started to ask questions and to think deeply about her future. She thought of dedicating her life to God as a nun and made several attempts, but it never seemed to work out. One day, while she was visiting the poor in her town, she met a group of women. They were talking about their children and how there was no one to teach them or tell them about God. These words seemed like an arrow piercing her soul, and she wrote, I told them to send their children to me and that I would educate them myself. I would be a teacher for the poor. With three companions, she founded the congregation. It was a time of great joy for these young women, but also a time of trial. Many challenges had to be faced. Very soon, other needs were made known. Orphans, the sick and housebound, prisoners and prostitutes. Many more young women joined her in her mission, and with love, gentleness, and enthusiasm, they tried together to respond to the needs of the poor all around them. Some of the nuns were also contemplative and spent their time in prayer and adoration. Emily died of cancer at Villefranche on September 19th in the year 1852. At the time of her death, she had opened 38 charitable institutions. Pope Pius XII canonized her on the 23rd of April in the year 1950.